I want to share with you a piece of writing by Thomas Jefferson. And it's just, it's not long, but it gives you much more context and insight into the person and some of the things that he was doing at this time as opposed to a short we often quote. hear from people like Thomas Jefferson, like farmers are the chosen people of God or, or cultivators of the land or the most valuable citizens. You know, all those are, are great little quotes, but they don't give us the insight that uh, sometimes that we, we can get by actually reading some of their writing. And in this case, I'm gonna read you a portion, a small portion of a letter written from Thomas Jefferson to a guy named Charles Wilson Peel. Okay, 17 April, 1813. And it's fascinating because it's Thomas Jefferson. He's talking about um, plowing on contour. And so oftentimes we, we tend to think, um, or it's not, it's not so much people that are into things like permaculture or natural farming or regenerative agriculture, but maybe some people on the outside that kind of look in that don't really understand those things and they're just like, oh, you guys think you're inventing something new. And I don't think that, it, that it's mostly the people that are actually doing that work that think that they're inventing something new. We're not inventing anything new. We understand that that um, a lot of this is lost knowledge or it's just a, a, uh, a dependency on, on modern you know, technology or equipment, etc. But this is a, a really fascinating letter, and, and, and you know it's a lot of highbrow language, and they the write letters back and forth, and, and this is actually a response to Peel from Jefferson. And so I'm just going to read you a portion of it, and again, he's talking about plowing on contour. Okay, so this isn't a, a treatise on plowing, per se, but it's, it's just an interesting approach that Thomas Jefferson had. Okay, so it says this, in this county wherein I live, we have discovered a new use for it, equal in value almost to its services before known. He's talking about plowing there. Our country is hilly and we have been in the habit of plowing in straight rows, whether up and down hill, in oblique lines, or however they led, and our soil was rapidly running into the rivers. We now plow horizontally, following the curvatures of the hills and hollows on the dead level, however crooked the lines may be. Every furrow thus acts as a reservoir to receive and retain the waters, all of which go to the benefit of the growing plant instead of running off into the streams. In a farm horizontally and deeply plowed, scarcely an ounce of soil is now carried off from it. In the point of beauty, nothing can exceed that of the waving lines and rows winding along the face of the hills and valleys. Okay, I could go on and on. But again, this is a response. Thomas Jefferson is writing this guy saying, hey, you gotta try this technique, this method that I have been experimenting with for six years. He kind of gives us insight into this. So from 1807-ish, Thomas Jefferson, our third president, was experimenting with basically farming on contour as opposed to straight lines, which even to this day, most people don't even understand this concept or don't even contemplate this concept. It's still the fence row to fence row, straight lines, mechanization, etc. Um, so this is really fascinating. Here he talks about you know the fact that working on the horizontal, working on contour essentially, or on the dead level as he called it, stopped the erosion. It retained water. It had all these benefits that he noticed back in 1807 or you know through 1813 which he had fully realized it by then you know later later on in the uh, 1920s we have russell smith that he was talking about kind of the same thing basically soil erosion and how we needed to work on contour or in this case what russell came with, with later was that on the hilly ground we should not be plowing okay we should be doing tree crops etc and then, you know, and much later, and we look at uh, key line design today, we look at permaculture and the use of swales on contour or other work on contour. Really what we're doing is just rediscovering uh, from the past. And even Thomas Jefferson basically attributes this idea of horizontal farming or farming on contour or on the dead level 
to, to someone else. Uh, and I can't remember who he said. It's in these letters, if you were to read two or three, which I have, but I just can't remember the names. He attributes this idea to somebody else, who I'm sure attributed this idea to somebody else before him or her. Okay, so this these ideas are not new. They, they are being rediscovered today, which is awesome. And even doing little things like gardening on contour or or ripping or key line design or swales on contour all have this impact that people are seeing today. Nothing is new though. And so I, thought I wanted to share this, this uh, interesting piece of a letter from Thomas Jefferson to Peel. You can read about it, just Google uh, 1813, you know, Thomas Jefferson letter to Peel, P-E-A-L-E, -E, and it's fascinating. He talks about this um, plowing on contour. And essentially the whole idea of working on contour.